Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of Nutrix the Synth Guy. Today I'm testing an app that the company actually reached me and said well I think your YouTube channel is the right one to talk about our app. It's an iPad music production app so yes I think it's the right place to talk about it. Everybody can get is free. It's called Bliss. I will call it Bliss but it's B-L-E-A SS bliss I would call it bliss yeah there's I, I like this approach and uh, we've seen that in some software uh, what's cool is that you have a free version everybody can download and as you play along with it some of the features are locked and now you pay for the so for unlocking them or you just uh, keep the free version so the cool thing about that is you actually can test out if you like the app before paying for it and um, this one, um, what it offers is that if you want to pay for it, if you like it and you find it's the right tool for you to create, um, there's a monthly payment uh, or a yearly payment. So actually the logic behind this, I like it quite a lot. It doesn't cost as much in a way. And basically every time they come up with new things, you'll get the full you know, package. Just, I think it's kind of a a nice way for them to have money to keep on growing the app at the same time you get a decent price because you don't pay the full cost of having a full-fledged software now what does bliss do actually bliss is a four track um, production house if you want you can have drums you can have uh, a synth bass let's say a lead you can have uh, different sounds you can play the drums are samples and the synths, there's actually a synthesizer you can tweak your sound. So let's actually go in, let's try it out, let's uh, test it out. I only open it once, so I'm still going to go through it with you, try to figure out what is the option you can find in it and what are the limits. And then what I'll do, I will unlock it. So I, we see the differences between the free version and the unlocked version. And then you'll decide if it's, uh, you know, if, if it's the right tool for you and if the unlock version gives you the option you really want or if it's just something that is uh, an interesting you know uh, software to play with then the lock version might be the right one for you okay so let's try that okay so we open bliss what do we have with bliss we have this window here you have your song which is an empty song the cool thing about this is that these blocks here when you press on them one you actually trigger them so they will be kind of playing now it's playing in an empty block if i press on it again and i keep my finger on it i've got this window that opens and go edit and then i can enter my whatever oh so my kick's there okay kick kick actually there's because there's like on off okay and classic stuff okay I'll put that here and uh, this here what do I have now okay let's keep that now if I want to change the sound they go pad you actually can play them so if you want to play live you can But if you also, you can actually double, you can loop it. Okay. And let's say. Okay. So you repeat, you select the, the timing of the repeat. And you can record that if you want. So very fast and easy to pick up and do something. So you've got your, and then you've got the sounds. Can you change this? You can change the velocity. Okay, that's what you can do for each of them separately. Oh, cool. Do we, can we, oh, we can move this bar. Oh, it can be longer. And then you can go second bar. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So you get your bars here. Okay, bar, two bars, three, four. So you can have a comp more complex. And the speed. So what do we have? Let me change these. Oh, okay. Basically, the time base 
of the length of each of the notes. Okay, let's keep it that way. Go back, we get the drum playing, you can solo it, which is the case. And keep your finger on the name, and then you can change the groove, um, which is the kind of the swing, I guess. That's it. Okay. We have a MIDI on and off. This is, you see right away, this is one of the function that um, is only for the pro version. So MIDI in can be on, it's actually off, and MIDI out can be on, it's actually off. So right now, this is an empty and closed box. Actually, it's a closed box in this case. So I cannot connect stuff to it. Okay. Chords. Let's actually go for the bass first. Let's create this one here. I'm going to go edit and... I don't know, I'm just going to enter notes randomly and change uh, the length of this one and change, it's actually in French in my case. Okay, so let's, uh, can we play this? Do we have a sound? Oh, we have to go back here and get to press on it first so it actually triggers. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's like so bad. <laughs> so you can stop it or... Keep your finger on it to go into edit. So this one's not done. Now if you want to change the sound itself, you go into synthesis, you keep your finger on it and go edit synth. And then you can change the pitch. Uh, I can just cancel, like take, take one. destination is okay that's cool I cancel this is, uh, you finger on it you go and do MIDI learn but this is something also you need to pay for so you can create your sound let's go back here drive can we have some drive ADSR sadly is not graphic because you just press one and then move the value, but it's still there. You've got um, the filters here, low pass, high pass, filter attack, sustain, how much of the envelope is affecting them. So basically what you expect here, uh, filter envelope destination, low pass. You can, if you change that, then the envelope controls the other one. So low pass and the resonance. So it's 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 pretty nice. I mean, it's what you expect. You get a mixing uh, value between the one and two, and the shape you have. You get different ones of pulse and then pulses. Okay. So let's say we keep this. That's pretty cool. Press effects. What do we have here? We got a send effects. How much? And then, do, oh, okay. So we have reverb here and delay, but you can't change the value. So it's, it's again, because it's the free version. Now, if you want to go and, and pick up uh, patches, you go presets, and then you can just load. I'm going to want a bass like here. Okay, press. Pretty nice sounding. Okay, let's pick this one. I'm gonna go out of there. Let's go. It's a monophonic synth. Little chords now. Turn that one on. It plays. Keep a finger on it. Edit. And this one can actually change how long it is. this instrument here I'm not sure oh 
sound another version of the same sound. Is it? I don't know. This place. Single pad. Oh, it's, pl it's playing chords. That's fun. I'm going to edit and you get basically the same logic when we have differences here. Uh, noise level, we did that earlier. Uh, strumming time. Oh, this is what we had earlier. Okay, okay. Now, this is strumming here. This is what you had earlier with this thing here. The instrument, kind of, you go the third one, fourth one. No. Like another version. So you, can, you kind of have like four versions of the same sound, kind of, I'm not sure. And then you can play with that. So, okay, so you have kind of, in this case, have access to four versions of a sound. And uh, you got time. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty. Okay. What is that? Undo? No. Looping? I'm not sure. That is sustain. You can actually change a name. Blah, blah, blah. You type your name. You've got your stuff. Get out of there. And you got that. I don't know what that word is. Um, so this is basically what it is. Then you turn next one on and then you build and you build and you build. Now if you want to go into the mixer, that's again, you got sustain, you can change the name of the sound, and you can actually click here and it tells you that you cannot change the volume cast just for pros. So that's kind of a bad thing, but um, I understand at one point you want them people to pay for, for the stuff. But um, yeah, you got effects, same thing, this one is locked. You go into config, you got the live mode or song mode. Now, oh, is there a difference in the graphic when you go into song mode? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it just goes from, oh, that's it. It just follows, okay, the song mode just plays through the blocks. And when you're in live mode, um, it plays the blocks that you want and stays. If you had a block here in the block there, it would actually play these. Okay, it's just a difference between how you want to play it. Recorder mode, on or off, what would be recorder mode? What's that? I don't know, what's recorder mode? I'm, I'm, um, how do, what do you record? Cancel, um, I don't know. Recorder mode, yeah. Recording. Yeah, they stay like. Oh, it's a sample. Oh, oh, you actually back up what you're just. Oh, can I just save it in fichier and folders? Yeah, let's put it on my iPad. Okay, so that's it. It's a WAV file. That's what it is. It's a WAV file. Okay, so actually, you record. Okay, that's what I get. So the live mode, the recorder mode on. You're basically recording the output of your mix, and then you can just send it to your friends or you know use it as a. Okay, that's how you back up or you export the audio file. Okay, interesting. MIDI sync available only in the pro version. Ableton Link, it works. Uh, there's a tutorial built in. Um, I'm not going to play it for now, and and then you can just go with the pro now. Rapidly, two forty nine per month. You can have one week to test it out, and if you don't like, you stop. Or you have a 12 months for 13.49. So basically, a buck and 12 cents per month for a year. And uh, or you buy everything once for 19.99. So you buy it once and it's done, or you pay monthly for it, or you pay yearly for it. So I think there's like like three options depending on how you want to look at it. So. Um, Interesting. I like this. So then I, 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 I like the approach 
um, the scent is simple, it's efficient, you've got only uh, four, and I like the notion of having, you know, limits, I like to have like one drum, but can I change the drum sound, can, can I, can I just like, this is the synth, if I go here, I've got my drum, if I play at the drum, uh, let's stop recording, config, recording off, back, play, okay, just the drum, if I go here, there is no, go edit, oh, that's it, okay, if I press and keep my finger on the sound itself, I can go edit sample, I've got the sound, I can actually change this one, it go pitch, okay, so that's pretty nice, so I can go, let's say, uh, I want to change this eye at, Keep the finger on it. A load sample. I can load under the one. Okay. Okay, I load that one. Perfect. And then if I want to change again, I can have a finger on it, keep it, edit, and I can change the pitch. I've got an ADSR. Actually, just attack and release. Okay. And I have a drive, so can I? <laughs> okay, so pretty cool. Okay, you, you get enough enough control to load your stuff, change it around, make it, make it the way you want. Then you get again velocity for each of these separately. Is it like random? Interesting. So that's the free version, which is again a way to test it out, see if you like it. I personally find it's a very quick sketch pad to get ideas out. Um, what I'm curious is about the media in and the media out, because it could mean different things in how you ex you know you interact with other things, but also um, the export here. When the song is done, how do you export it? You know, how do you get this out here? So, what's the format of export you can have? That's kind of a what I'm asking myself right now. I will upgrade to the full version, the pro version, and I'll do the next demo. Okay, so now I have the full version unlocked. So if I press mixer, I can change the volume. Yay! <laughs> Effects, I've got access to everything. Free mode, sync rate, I can change everything I want here. And this, oh, there's different, okay, there's the effects one, you get a delay, ping pong delay, reverb, same thing with the same. Okay, you can switch between three types of effects for the mixer sends. Okay, let's go back to, um, I was curious about the export. Actually, now I lost everything, I didn't save it. Let's go back here, uh, edit, uh, actually, let's just load one. Let's load down. Do they have a bulk or what is that? Yes. What is like? What is that? Okay. So we have this thing playing. sample packs and that's what you're buying you're buying uh, this thing in Brazilian no, that's, uh, 
vintage drum machines download b-boys okay download that sport okay let's go let's get all of them so if I go back here drum machine for this one actually drum machine here edit and simple old stuff okay, let's pull this one okay I can go here um, edit okay, cancel Let's just try something. It's just gonna go here. If I go into base, I go into edit, I go into edit my sound, edit sent, and that's where we're gonna send to the effect. I wanna send to the delay. Okay, so it works. So you need to send in the patch instead of sending in in the mixer, but it works. You know, just as as long as you know. Now, uh, if I want to be able to play these things off a keyboard, I'm going to turn it off. See if I can actually figure out a way to load. You know, I'm going to connect this Bluetooth here. Connect, please. Okay, so I have this now. It works. Does it connect? Please connect. It's it's connecting. Now there's something wrong with this thing. Okay, so it's connected. Let's go back to see what happened with Bliss. 
uh, bring that volume down. Now if I if I use this, I go mono synth on. So it works. So I actually can go in and and um, go into record mode. Where is the record? This here. On. Yeah. Does it record? Edit. No, that's true. Record record mode is is. Actually, is it? It's oh, there's two. Oh, okay. This one is for recording the. This one is for recording the performance playback. This one is for recording. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a sec. I'm gonna stop that. Go back. Go back. Config. Turn the record mode off. Let's go back here. Into this one. Edit. And then there's this thing. But if I want to record. Go into pad. Oh, you have to be in pad mode. Okay. So now. Actually records. Perfect. And then if you go back. Uh, and you want to change again, uh, edit, um, keep your finger on a key, load presets. <laughs> I like this, he has some very nasty sounds. Let's keep that one. Okay. Now, what I'm curious about is that if I go into this one, go in, edit, um, go into pad, and record. Oh no, it's recording in the one before. Back, 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 back. I did record on this one. Edit. Yeah, oh, that's just not good. So no. Okay, because this one was still into MIDI all, yes, and this one was not. So I would have to, okay, I would have to put them on different channels and change, okay. Hmm. Could, could have an easier way to manage this. Uh, so now, now you hear us a different sound. Oh, whatever it is. So you've got something now. What I'm curious now is that if I go back, back, I say, okay, this now, I don't want it to receive, I want it to send. Does it work? Can this works? This it actually re responds. So they're receiving MIDI. That's really cool. So this can be an actual sequencer that triggers four of your devices. If you get the MIDI output for that, that's pretty cool. So I could actually use, in my case, my MIDI out here and send channel, I don't know, one, two, three, and ten, and then send it to my gear. And I've got a sequencer that has its own internal sound if I need to. And if not, I can use external sound to complete. So I could create on the go with this. And when I get home, use my performance I created in this and then use the other sounds to create it, to, to, to make it sound the way I want. So that makes it really, really interesting because now you're not limited to the sound that it is in it. Of course, you can use all of that, and there's plenty of features, and the sounds are really nice, and you can actually go in and tweak them, and the tweak is powerful enough to make it, you know, the way you want. And if, if you just listen to the presets, you see that there's a lot of really cool presets. So I'm hearing this at the same time. Let's close this one. 
I don't want to hear that. But then the cool thing is that it actually sends MIDI out. So it is a real sequencer at that point. Really, really interesting. So, um, again, the whole thing is, is, I mean, can I export now? I don't understand how. If I click on one, can I export? No. What, what's export for? Guys, save is not there. Save as, new project, load, delete. How, why? Why is not the export working? You know, why can, oh, wait a sec. Okay, I'm gonna go recorder mode on. Yes, I'm gonna play my recording. Remember that recording is kind of a performance that you trigger stuff around and then say I'm gonna. And then I stop it, I say, yes, I'm gonna keep that. Call it blah, blah, blah. And I'm wondering, um, well, I can save it somewhere in my folder and then OK on, on my um, add. So it's there. Now if I go, s no, I was, I was hoping that now you would have export, but you don't. So I really don't know what export is for. I'll have to figure out that part. So well, that's bliss. That's um, a four part drum, bass, chord or mono synth you can play with. Um, it's actually a real sequencer because it can send to an external MIDI device or it can send to internal other devices because it's, it has a MIDI out. And that's really surprising for this. Usually at this price, you don't get MIDI out. You just get a MIDI in. Um, so it's really interesting. Now, the effects uh, sounds okay. I mean, they're not, they're not bad. They sound nice. The mixer is quite limited. You know, you just have volume and solo and that's it. $20 for life, $13 for a year, and like $2 something for a month. So try the demo, try the free version, download it, play with it, see if you like it. And if it's fun enough, maybe that's enough for what you want to do because it's still very powerful. And then if you want to open up with the rest and you want to have more samples and stuff like that, the price that they offer is is, is a cool one. You know, it's, it's $20 for the whole thing for life um i think it's a good price so and i like the fact that it has midi out that just open up the you know the box to you create with it in the subway and then you go back home and then you hook it up to your studio and then you use anything else to control it so pretty interesting that's it guys see you next time